Hey everyone, I want to talk about a project that I've been working on off and on for about a year. This is a lamp made by Dyson and last winter I got a little obsessed with it and decided I needed to build one. It's just a lamp, but it has some novel elements that I think are really cool and well executed. The first of those novel elements is this motion system, which runs on a pair of rolling rails uh, and that gives the light this wide range of motion uh, where you can position it pretty fluidly from one point to another. And I think this solution is such an elegant response to that requirement. The other novel feature of this lamp is the lighting element. So Dyson took this no compromises approach to the light source that they're using. And they use this high powered LED with a high CRI, which stands for color rendering index. And the result is this high quality light that accurately reproduces the color of the thing that you're illuminating. So you can imagine why that would be useful for a task light. Um, and then on top of that, for maximum efficiency, they cool that LED with a heat pipe, which is something that you'd find in a modern computer to cool the CPU. And this heat pipe cools the LED, keeps it running efficiently, keeps it running longer. And it's so overkill and silly that I just thought it was so cool that they went to this uh, extent. And then on top of all that, the industrial design is right up my alley. It's sleek, but kind of industrial. And it just seems to me like something you'd find in Tony Stark's workshop. So that's the Dyson lamp, the lamp that I was obsessed with last winter. And while I was obsessed with it, uh, I loved the design and the engineering. I was still hesitant to buy one. Uh, one obvious deterrent is the price. It's about $600 for the current light cycle model, which is a little too steep for me. Um, but ultimately, I realized that's not really what was keeping me from picking one up. In reality, the real reason I didn't want to buy one was because I was worried that the obsession that I felt would just go away as soon as I owned the thing. Um, and that's not what I wanted. I wanted to keep that magic around. Uh, so I didn't want to own one as much as I wanted to better understand the design and the engineering involved. So I wanted the thing itself, but more than that, I wanted to understand it. So that became my project, build my own version of this Dyson light and replicate the features that I find so fascinating about it. I wanted to see if I could do it in such a way that other people could replicate and extend the design. My thinking here is that people can create their own version of this thing using 3D printed parts and mostly off the shelf components. My hope is that people can make their own version of the end product, but more importantly, they can also extend the design to make even better variants for themselves. I actually have this idea in my head that different makers that I follow and admire could use their signature processes and materials to make their own version. For example, Adam Savage could mill his parts out of brass or Delrin, and Winston Moy could CNC his parts from aluminum or carbon fiber, and JSK Kobo could make his parts from plywood. So with all that background, here are my goals for the project. One, I want to replicate the original motion system from the lamp. Two, I want to replicate the cooling system with a high CRI LED with high power rating. Three, use as many off the shelf parts as is practical. Goal number four is for any custom parts, make them 3D printable or manufacturable using like at home digital manufacturing processes. And then number five, try to keep the cost as low as possible so that as many people as possible can afford to make it. I'm calling this the DIY sunlight, and I want to keep making little videos like this that document the process of designing and building the lamp so that others can follow along with the development. The next video I upload will be the first build log video, and I'm going to be talking about the motion system. So for that, I need to find a solution for the two primary rails that make up the lamp and design a carriage that joins those two rails together. And I've already made a lot of progress on this component. So I'll walk you through the design process and show you what I've come up with. In later videos, I'll move on to lighting and electronics and show you the components I've selected for that, plus the electronics I'm using to control everything. So that's it for now. I just wanted to make this short video to introduce the project and to set up for upcoming videos. If the project seems cool to you, do consider subscribing so you can follow along and participate in the process. Thanks for watching. See you later.